Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube. <laughs> Welcome to day seven of Pink Ween. So today I'm doing a collaboration with a lovely group of ladies. We did a collaboration last month as well, which I will link right up here. And the group consists of myself, Debbie Knobloch, who is my twin sister, my best friend, you guys know. Uh, it also consists of Danielle Gerstenberger, otherwise known as Glamberger here on YouTube. And you guys know I love her too. I love all of these ladies. And then there is Stacy from Flawed and Fabulous, and she is definitely fabulous. And then we have Kyra from Journey and Beauty, who I absolutely love. We do our Inspired by series together once a month. And then we have Brie from Purple, Pink, Red. And you guys know I absolutely love Brie. I've done group collaborations with her, and I recently did my one-on-one, -on -one, first one-on-one -on -one collaboration with her as well. And I also did one with her and Debbie where we did a bridal look. So all of these ladies mean so much to me. Their channels will be linked down in the, car uh, down in the description box below. And if you guys could go check out their channels, that would be amazing. Subscribe, let them know I sent you, show them some love. They all deserve it if you guys aren't already subscribed to them. So, today's theme, <clears throat> because it is October and Halloween is upon us and it is fall, we were thinking about doing a fall or Halloween inspired look based off of a treat or a snack, a food, a drink, anything that you consume during Halloween or fall. So I decided to do Halloween, um, the Cadbury Scream Eggs. I don't know if you guys have seen them, but it's like a take on the Cadbury Cream Egg. And you open it up, it's like chocolate brown on the outside, and then you open it up and it's like a neon green and like a yellowish white on the inside. So I will I'm going to throw up a photo now if you haven't seen them. If you haven't tried them, I mean, they taste just like Cadbury eggs. But for some reason, because they're Halloween themed, they taste better. But I'm going to throw them up here and then we'll be right back. Okay. So I thought that that would be a really fun makeup look to base, you know, or that would be a really fun item to base my makeup look off of. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. And we're actually going to go into... A palette that I have not used on my channel yet and that is the Norvina 2. So you've seen me use the Norvina 1 and I've used the Norvina 3 a few times but I have not yet used the Norvina 2. But it does have a chocolate brown, it has definitely some neon greens, it has a matte and a shimmer and then it has this shade right here which is like a it's like a sparkly white but it's kind of slightly like yellowish gold tinted so I thought it would be perfect to use this. So this is what we're going to use for today. So yeah, I don't know. I know that's kind of like a really uh, different kind of treat to base it off of, but I was just thinking and thinking and thinking and I was like, you know, that would be really cool. And I just thought I love the colors put together. It kind of reminds me of mint chocolate chip as well, except that's a more of like a neon green instead of a um like a minty green but i just thought it would be something fun and something different and since it's a neon green i don't think i've ever done that color combination together and you guys are probably going to see this shirt a couple times this month too because this is my new halloween shirt that i got from amazon i will try to link it below if i can but they had a couple different ones and I just thought this was the cutest one of all of them. So this is the one I picked out that I wanted. So, all right. So I just used the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. And we're going to go right in. Actually, I need some glitter glue. And I brought it with me. But okay. I was like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know. I'm in a mood. I'm in a mood. So I'm going to use my NYX glitter glue today and I'm just going to put that between my fingers and then put some on the lid, not all the way out, but we are going to be using shimmers for a majority of it. I will be doing other looks with this palette, but 
I haven't been able to do a look with it yet. So I was like, how can I incorporate this? And then I was like, oh, I know it has the perfect colors for this collaboration. So there you go. So we just kind of mesh the two together. So I'm going to grab this flat shader brush from Morphe and the Jeffree Star collection. And I'm going to go into that shade C1 first, the whitish, like yellowish, you know, one that I was talking about. And I'm going to put that in the inner corner. I'll probably wrap it around in the inner corner as well later once I do my base. But for now, I'm just going to put it right here. You're going to hear Sophie making a fuss for probably the majority of the video because she just can't help herself. She wants to be over here with me and she's not. That's one of the many reasons I can't wait until I'm filming in my new condo because she <clears throat> really likes to be like right next to me. And in the new condo, she'll be able to have her own little chair like right next to me. So that will be fun. Okay, so if I need to dip into another white, I will, but for now I'm just going to leave it like that. And then I'm going to go into A3, which is this bright green, bright neon green, and I'm just going to put that right next to it. I love this kind of like ombre kind of effect when you do like the lightest in the inner corner and then you go out to the darkest when it's like really like bright in the inner corner. I don't know why, but I've just always loved that. So I'm just gonna pack that in there. And for a shimmer, that is pretty, pretty bright. I think I might go in with a little bit of this matte neon green though. It's a little bit darker and yeah, that's much better. I'm just putting this over the shimmer so it'll still have that like shimmery effect, but I feel like this green, it's just a little bit darker and a little bit closer to the neon green that is in the Scream Egg. Let me know down below if you've ever had a Scream Egg and also let me know down below what your favorite treat is during this time of year. I chose this too as like a treat that I like to have during this time of year because those things are so incredibly sweet and I'm not much of a sweets person other than ice cream, even though I'm known as pink sweets. That's kind of weird. Just thought about that, but, um, yeah, I'm just not much of a sweets person, you know, except for ice cream. Like I said, now I'm going to go into E4, which is the chocolate brown, but I just, every time I see them come out with these, I'm like, oh, I need to get one and have it immediately so I always get one for myself one for my hubby we eat them and then I usually don't have any more <laughs> the rest of that you know that season and I do the same thing at Easter with the regular Cadbury eggs because like I said they're so sweet and you get I get so excited to have one but then I have it and I'm like <laughs> like that is overly sweet and I just don't really crave another one for like another six months to a year so but now they've started coming out with them for other holidays too i believe i think i saw them for christmas or i can't remember what holiday it was that i saw them for this is literally these are the perfect colors for that scream egg i think i'm glad i chose to use this palette also because then it got gave me a chance to kind of use it but yeah I really like it I really like it I love I have to say it I love these Anastasia Norvina palettes they're just amazing I know that I agree they should not have come out with them all at once and I know that they're you know expensive like each one is expensive but I really think they did a good job with the, you know, curating the color story and everything. So I personally, I just love them. All right, there we go. So let me go do my base off camera and then we'll do the rest of the look um, 
after that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. By the way, there might be a few looks this, you know, season of things inspired by different, you know, treats and stuff like that, just because I feel like that's that, this is that time of year, you know what I mean? But just thought I would mention that because I think, I think I have a couple, but anyhow, so I am so excited to see what these ladies create. I love, I'm going to use whiskey from um, Urban Decay. You might hear the dogs drinking in the background, but um, I'm so excited to see what these ladies create. I absolutely positively love every single one of them. They all have just become such an important part of my life like every single one of them and we talk I talked to almost every single no I talked to every single one of them almost every single day on Instagram and you know they really are my friends I just absolutely love them and I'm so lucky to have them all in my life and I'm so happy that Debbie started this group because we've just had so much fun chatting and We've had so much fun collaborating and coming up with different ideas of what to do. And we have, you know, future collabs coming up as well. I'm just getting my lipstick ready because I normally clean off my lipstick before I use it, if I haven't used it in a while. So the lipstick that I'm gonna use is from Kat Von D, but uh, it is the only brown, really, that I could find in my collection. I have one other one that is from Dose of Colors, but I think I already used it um, for my lipstick challenge. And if I have another one in my collection, I'm not allowed to pull it out. So now if I need another brown one in the future, I could pull one of these two out, but those, them, them's the rules. So that's what I had to do. But I, um, I'm just putting my mascara on my top lashes. Because I always wait to do this and then when I spray my face I get mascara all over my lower lash line so I just think this is such a pretty color combination let me know what you guys think down below unless you hate it then don't tell me no I'm just kidding <laughs> okay so I'm gonna take a little smudger like flat shader ish blending brush and I'm gonna I don't really know what to call it I'm just gonna go in with that chocolate mint shade or that chocolate mint shade. What is wrong with me? No, I'm going to go in with that chocolate brown shade. Now I have mint chocolate chip ice cream on the brain. And I'm going to smudge this out. I have no idea what anyone else chose as their, you know, their treat. So it'll be fun to, while you guys are watching this, I'll be watching every one of them. I'm sure you guys are already subscribed to them, but if you're not, I really want you guys to go check them out because they are just all amazing women, like I said. And I actually used the lightest shade that I have in my inner corner as my highlighter today. Two totally different topics that I just did there. I'm going to take this little... Luxie brush that I got. It's like a little bit of an angled brush and I'm going to take that C1 shade and I'm just going to really put that in the inner corner. Kind of wrap it around. It's such a beautiful shade. I cannot wait to do more looks with this palette. I've seen some of my friends do looks with these palettes recently and everyone has done such a good job and I cannot wait to play some more with mine. Might have to do a midnight makeup with this palette. I also have a couple other plans for Halloween costumes with this palette. So, okay. So let me spray my face and then we can do our lips. I'm just going to use my MAC Fix Plus in pink light today. If I could actually spray my face, that would be good. I literally just sprayed everywhere but on my face. Make sure I didn't get anything in here and there's hardly any kick up there's like a tiny bit you know with the shimmer shades but other than that for how much I usually create fallout I'm amazed at how little fallout these palettes have so all right so the shade that I'm going to go into 
<clears throat> is called Pee Off. And I'm actually going to, um, yeah. I think I'm just I'm trying to think if I want to, yeah, I'm going to clean this off. Okay, I'm going to use the shade Whiskey to line my lips, the one that I used for my eyeliner. Because... These Kat Von D bullet lipsticks aren't always the most pigmented. And I think I remember this shade going on patchy. I need I need to find my sharpener, is what I need to find. I think I packed it. But I'm using the shade P off, and it is basically just a chocolate brown. It's named after her cat. Um so it's just yeah it's basically just a brown so i thought it would be good for this look this is like a nona lipstick if you guys know who nona is i mean you've got to know who nona is i'll link her up here but she or in the description box because i think there's five people besides myself. YouTube only lets you use five cards, but I'll link her channel somewhere. And she loves these like dark vampy lips. I need to look back to her video because she used the most beautiful chocolate brown lipstick. And I was like, I really want that. And then I forgot to, I forgot to remember what lipstick it was so I'm gonna put this in my box right here next to me and I also forgot in my last video um, with Debbie and, da and Danielle the hocus pocus look I forgot to put this lipstick in the box so I just wanted to show that I am doing that um, no cheating from me so um, or from Debbie like we're not cheating at all we're putting it in the box every time but sometimes I forget to do it on camera so this is my final look for my Halloween inspired look from a Halloween treat, the Hallow Scream eggs. So like I said, let me know down below if you guys have tried them because I feel like when I talked about it, people were like, what? <laughs> so um, maybe they're only in certain areas. I don't know. But I am so excited that I was able to do this look with this group of ladies. Thank you guys so much for doing this collab. I am so lucky and honored to be a part of it and to be a part of this group. I love every single one of you and I love you guys too. And thank you guys for watching. Please go support my ladies, show them some love and let them know I sent you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.